Is your shower diverter not working any longer? Mine just failed too. Let's go through the steps on how I'm gonna replace it together. First, after turning off the water and removing the seal from around the diverter, it twists off, turn left to loosen. If it's too tight, you might need to wedge a screwdriver in underneath to help loosen it up. Next, you'll need to get the replacement diverter slash tub spout. Now, there's a bunch of different types out there on the market, but I decided to go for this Moen Fit All Universal replacement, make it easier for myself. I just went to my local Home Depot and picked it up. It was about $25. Next, before you go ahead and actually install the new diverter, be sure to remove any old plumbing tape and install some new tape. Cost at your local hardware store or Home Depot is only a couple of bucks for a roll. This particular universal fit mowing kit was installed in three steps. First, you screw on this piece here to the copper pipe after threading on your Teflon tape. Next, you insert the O-ring into the plastic collar and then you tighten that on top of the fitting onto the pipe. Make sure you use a wrench after hand tightening to ensure a very tight fit. Last, you then screw on the actual diverter. Now, after I initially installed this, I did go back and add plumbing tape on top of the thread on the collar, just to add a little bit more of a watertight seal as there was a little bit of a drip. Once everything's in place, Reseal on the outer edge using a clear silicone or caulking bead to prevent any water from getting in behind and test. Stop this. 